Hello everyone, my name is Amir Ali Pur and I am a geotechnical engineer. In this course, I would like to talk about static and seismic slope stability modeling using GeoStudio in 2D and 3D. So in this course, we we are discussing about different type of a slope and behavior of the slope, such as soil and rock slope, man-made slope or natural slope. And in GeoStudio, there are different modules which are working together and we will discuss about that. So Basically, we are using SlopeW for limited equilibrium modeling and three finite element type of the modeling, such as SIP, Sigma, and Quake, uh, for seepage modeling, stress deformation, and dynamic modeling. And you will learn how to combine these four modules together and use, for example, the predictions, which is coming from one module, and use it as an input data for your other module. And we will start with some basics, such as different definitions for um, soil strengths or rock strengths, such as peak, post-peak, residual, fully softened, and their applicability in the slope stability. And you will learn pseudo-static modeling and seismic coefficient and for example, the seismic coefficient is a function of the displacement and so many things, and you will learn about that and use it for your modeling, and you will learn how to model a tailings, and use the investigation such as CPT data to develop ground model and use it for your slope stability modeling. And yeah, in 3D modeling, you will learn creating the geometry or importing geometry into your 3D model. And it's also possible to use a, an isotropic type of the behavior or when the shear strength parameters such as C and phi are a function of direction. It's You will learn how to do it in your slope stability problem. It's also possible to use new mark type of the model for seismic displacement prediction, uh, and you will learn how to use it in, in using quake modeling, quake module. It's also possible to uh, simulate an earthquake event or a shaking. Uh, and use linear model as well as nonlinear type of the behavior. You can predict liquefaction, development of the excess pool water pressure, variation in terms of the safety factor over time. And there are different um, parts which will be discussed, such as um, stiffness degradation curve and material behavior damping ratio and um, it's also possible to predict the probability of the failure and we will discuss about this together with so many examples 